Alright. Hey there, people. Um, I just was here. Okay, so. Couple weeks ago, I said I was going to start making some more views. So, I'm going to do that. Um, I got a new computer. Because my old one's a piece of crap. And it broke. Something's wrong with the motherboard or whatever, but I got a new one. And I set up my little cheap camera here. The little stand that it came with. Is Taped it down so it doesn't move with the USB cable. It's the USB cable. There's the new computer. It's got new sound cards, so my mic's a lot more sensitive. Speaking of mic, I've got a different one now. Much smaller. Pretty cool. I just clip this thing back on. It's got a little it's got a little clip back there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So in the mail two weeks ago. Two weeks ago on Friday, yesterday. Um I got my 4x4x4 four by four by four East Sheen Cube. And this thing, right out of the box, was smooth as can be. I mean, it's like no lube or anything. And I, can do, I can't do finger tricks that well, but... I mean, look at that. And like, all East Sheens, I think, except for the 2x2, two two, it's got adjustable can adjust the tension because since it's a DIY and you pop out four center tiles as I said it looks orange but it's it's the red side but it's got a little screw in there to adjust the tension and then it's got these little on the cubes it's got those little square things right there and inside the cube it's got little square things so those things hook in right there Now, I wouldn't recommend setting the tension on an unsolved cube, because if you put the pieces in wrong, you're going to have to take the whole thing apart, and it's not the easiest thing to put back together. Believe me. That experience. But, yeah. That's the cube. It's really nice. It's not solved right now. So, actually, just give me a minute, and I'll solve it. Hold on. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so that's what it looks like solved. And uh, I gotta tell you, the white with the uh, color scheme and the black stickers just looks awesome. And it's it's really cool. Um, one thing I like are the colors the cool patterns, or the way the colors look with the patterns. Now this is red, again. Here, that's red. That's what orange looks like, so they look practically the same because of my camera. But, yeah. Um, like, the cool patterns you can make, they look awesome. Um, just, uh, but one of my favorite things, probably the color scheme, the white cubes, the white, and the sound it makes. Because I think the sound is awesome. Now, like I said, this thing's smooth right out of the box. So, But, like, with the shipping, I got it off of eBay from Puzzle Pros. Um, I don't remember if it was first class or priority mail, but I ordered it on Tuesday, and it got here. I ordered it on Sunday, it shipped Tuesday, and it got here Friday. And on the site, it says it ships between 6 and 9 days priority and 6 to 7 um, first class. So I was pretty amazed that it got here in 4 days or 3 days. So I thought that was pretty neat. Because um, I always thought they shipped things from Hawaii in a boat. Apparently it's an airplane. But pretty cool um so here's a little pattern
up. Sorry, hold on. There we go. So, that looks pretty cool. Um, let's see if I got the yellow and black looks really cool. I think that's pretty awesome. And then there's the uh, center piece. Goes like that. And that one looks pretty cool. And then put both of them together. And you got that. You got the center piece, and then you got the four outer and inners. So that's another really cool one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the inner wedges are also really smooth. Um, a little tip when you're. This probably isn't a good idea. I'll just watch the video again. But. When you want to adjust the tension on all the sides, just take out four center pieces and then just move. Like, move the top layer or the bottom layer over to the next side and the screws uncovered on that too. So that's all uncovered. This is half and you can just get a little screwdriver. But I mean like a teeny screwdriver. I use those little Duracell battery things. And you just stick it in there and you can adjust it or you can um, make it stronger to the point where the cube is almost impossible to pull apart to having it so that you cut a corner and the thing like dismantles itself in your hand and I don't think that's such a good idea but it makes it really really smooth and I guess it saves you money on silicone I don't know but I don't know. I, I'd give this cube a, a 9 out of 10. Because um, it still kind of locks up sometimes when you have it really loose. I had to tighten it up today. But it's still pretty good. Um, here's a little example on the corners. Like, have it right there. If you pull up, it'll fix itself. But if you have it like right there, if you can see that well enough, it'll lock up. It's not gonna be so easy unless you want to break it. But so you just have it like right there. This little edge is a little bit over the uh, open space right there. I don't know if you can see that. Like that. It can cut that. I mean, you have to force it a little bit, but it's not that bad. And I know it's, it's a really good cube. It's really really smooth. Um, after you break it in for a while, I don't know maybe like. Play with it for half an hour, solve it, move it around. It's it'll be really really smooth. This thing, right out of the box, it wasn't faster than my three x three. But after a day of breaking it in, right now it's probably a little bit faster than my three x three. And my three x three is lubed like incredibly. I've wasted almost a half a can on that cube. But, yeah. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.